While Russian propaganda broadcasts to the entire world that the Russian army is invincible, its soldiers say the opposite. According to Obos Revatel media outlet, the ban on using gadgets during service in the military zone was perceived as a real betrayal by the Russian occupation forces. In this way, the Putin regime decided to shut the mouths of the liberators who talk too much about the real situation at the front. It is noted that in accordance with the adopted amendments to the law, the use of smartphones and tablets by occupiers will now be considered a gross disciplinary offence punishable by 10 days of arrest. Even at the stage of introducing amendments to the law, Z publics exploded with angry comments in which they told the deputies who were divorced from reality that the consequences of their decision would be deadly for the Russian army since modern warfare without gadgets is impossible. Do the people who prepared these amendments understand how modern military operations take place? Where are the maps? What controls the drones? How surveillance is carried out? And all that other stuff? Wrote Russian war correspondent Yaremchuk. If we remove all gadgets from the front for a few days, we will have no eyes, that is, no reconnaissance. We will have no visual control that commanders require to open fire, as well as that needed for adjustments. We will have no maps or navigation said another Z war correspondent, Alekine. The adopted amendments to the law, as the Russians admit, will also hit their own artillery. I won't reveal a secret by saying that today, 100% of our artillery fires using programs written specifically for smartphones and tablets, wrote Russian military analyst Shurigin. In addition, the work of UAV operators, snipers and reconnaissance personnel of the occupation forces, who cannot do without gadgets, will be paralysed. The radio communication is in a mess. The communication is shit. It's no wonder that the relevant officials were arrested this year. The occupier said, Obos Revitel says that every other Russian occupier writes that they have now been effectively ordered to die silently. And they really do have something to tell. Russian occupiers are constantly recording videos at the front where they talk about the crimes of the command. This is what the mobilized and contract soldiers of the 1st Motorized Rifle Regiment of Military Unit 31135 did. The Russians said that they have been at war in Ukraine since January 2023 without rotation or leave. They are not given uniforms or electronic warfare equipment in the 2nd Army in the world. There is a problem with medical care as well as the required payments, including for combat. Meanwhile, the heavy losses of the Russian occupation forces have already led to the fact that wounded liberators are being sent back to the front lines instead of being treated. Strong fire has broken out in a forested area in Turkey's Izmir city, local media reported on Friday. Fire started in Shandarli neighborhood of Izmir's Dikili district at around 14.20 local time for an unknown reason. Firefighting operations are underway. Four planes, five helicopters, 11 water tankers, five water supply vehicles, three bulldozers, and two crews of firefighters have been dispatched in the area from the Izmir Forestry Regional Directorate. Residents are being evacuated from the Mavacant site ere the flames were approaching due to the fire spreading because of strong wind. The Shandarli Deniskoy Highway has been closed to traffic due to the fire. Multiple wildfires have erupted across Turkey recently due to hot weather.